All right, boys. Let's pull an engine. Put Welcome to today's video. I'm Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. All right, guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, we're gonna address what the heck happened to this thing at the event yesterday. If you guys watched my last video of the event, then you guys saw that this thing basically took a shit on me. Let me turn this fan off. I don't really know what happened. Basically, it was uh, smoking a lot. Um, I was getting kind of smoke out from the turbo area when I was revving it, and I was also blowing a lot of smoke out of the back. And it looked like blue smoke, which, you know, kind of indicates, you know, oil burning and stuff. Um, but then we were also getting white smoke, which could indicate a head gasket. So it's really hard to tell until we kind of look more into it. Um, but then the second thing that happened, again, if you watched the last video, uh, if you haven't, go watch it. But uh, basically something blew where I started just pissing oil out all over the place it took forever to clean up um we upon quick inspection at the track you know my buddies kind of thought that it was the front main seal that blew um which just basically caused all the oil to come out through the front and get on the pulleys and spray everywhere which kind of could make sense you know but we won't really know for sure till we look at it more what i'm going to do right now <clears throat> is start with a compression test um, because the smoking that was happening yesterday could be bad turbo seals, but it also could be potentially bad rings. And um, a compression test is kind of the first thing that'll give us a little insight. For now, I did uh, go ahead and pour in a, like two quarts of oil because she was obviously low. It wasn't even reading on the dipstick. Um, I'm going to check the dipstick real quick. But anyway, we're going to pull the um, coil packs <clears throat> and then start doing a quick compression test and see if we can figure out if... I don't know if I got low compression or what's going on here. So let's yeah, get started. Turn to the moon, buddy. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I, it sucks because I didn't even like really get to send her. Like uh, I drove only like a handful of laps, like five or six laps. And, you know, it's just upsetting. So I've never compression tested this engine. I probably should have when I first got it, but I was too scared. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to do it and, and see. Kyle, you want to crank it over? Oh, dude, I'm so scared right now. Make sure it's not in gear. Huh? Make sure it's not in gear. About to snap my knee off if he hit it. Okay. 180, solid. Damn. Next. It's got 180 in cylinder one. Woo! That's what I call crankcase Shut pressure. <laughs> wow. Psst. That was dope. Okay, 190. Wow. See, your rings are good, man. Yeah. <laughs> Cylinder three and four, 30, 30, 30. Don't, don't, don't jinx <laughs> Do not jinx I'm that. sorry, I, I oh, knock that. on. Uh... <laughs> oh, all right. Solid. Jeez, dude. What is it? It's 180. Boy! One more left! 150. Cylinder four. That's not bad though. 150. Is it all the way tight down there? Run her again. You were good. Yeah, 150 solid. Confidence lowered. <laughs> what does this mean? Hey, put a yeah. couple, put a couple drops in the so, of oil in the cylinder. Redo it, and that'll tell you if your rings are bad or not, or if it's heads. All right, straight down the hole. Funnel cam. Okay, just a couple drops, like a tiny bit, <laughs> not a lot. Yeah. Did it even go down the hole, or did it just fucking smear all over the walls of the fucking? <laughs> Sure have, have fun there. Yeah. Okay. All right, send it, Cindy. Yeah, like 160 now. So maybe a maybe a little less than that, than like 170. Can. Or so sorry, one, like 158. Yeah. So head gasket or valves? But the valve train is so clean. The speculation station. <laughs> Let me show you guys the compression test numbers. Kyle wrote this for my records. 
thank you. Cylinder one, two, and three are relatively high for an SR. Um, I just texted the homies and they said um, usually around 150, 155 is kind of normal for an SR. Uh, but we know that this has different pistons and it. it has 87 mil pistons, which is one millimeter bigger than stock. We still don't know exactly where the oil is coming from. Donald's trying to find out now, but it's dripping pretty heavy, like from the front. After kind of looking around uh, all underneath the car, um, me, Don and Kyle looked under it and couldn't really find anything to explain it other than the front main seal. Um, I did talk to a buddy of mine who knows SR20s very well. And he said that it's not uncommon for the front main seal to get pushed out due to high crankcase pressure, um, which this thing did have. Um, if that's the case, I, I guess that's good. You know, we'll put a new front main seal in it. You know, no hole in the block or anything, luckily. All right, so I think I'm gonna end the video for today right here. I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow. I might kind of research a little bit. I'm gonna talk to a couple of other friends and whatnot, see, just get some opinions before I start doing anything crazy. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure it out and we'll talk about it. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Really? You are not getting a five-star Uber rating, sir. <laughs> What's up, guys? Um, we're gonna get some food and go grab a leak down tester, and I need to grab a, uh, a boroscope. Oh my God, air conditioning? <laughs> what is that? BMW things. <laughs> Thank you. Got a new leak down tester. Rented a boroscope because this shit was like 150 bucks. What do you think, Winston? Sick. Oh, what's up, bud? Howdy. Little lunchtime helping hand break. Oh, yeah. All right. So you're going to help me pull the engine right now, right? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Well, sick. Thank you AutoZone for not including batteries in my $150 freaking rental. Oh, it needs four. I thought it only needed two. Come on, man. All right, we are live, guys. All right, so we're gonna send this little camera. We're gonna send it into the cylinders and we're going to just kind of inspect. I don't know what you guys can tell on the camera. This motor's made of motor. Um, Damn, you can't see him like you could on the other one. It's just the pistons higher up. I might have to crank the motor over. Let's so check number four. Go to number four. Number four is the scary one. I want to do it last. It's hard because they can't. Okay. Oh, there you go. Looks the same as cylinder one. It doesn't look like it's full of oil by any means. All right, I gotta go to work later. See you, dude. So far, cylinder four doesn't look any different than cylinder one did, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that means that the rings aren't bad. Um, leak down test is next, so that's what's gonna really kind of give us uh, even more info, but. I'm gonna look a couple more times with this uh, and see what I can find. I checked out the other ones and um, again, they don't look bad. Uh, nothing looks nothing looks out of the ordinary, I guess. It's hard to tell, you know, I don't, I'm not an expert. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. But from what I do know, it doesn't look too bad. Next is gonna be to do this leak down test. From what I read about doing a leak down test, cause I've never done one, um, you know, basically once you pressurize the cylinder, uh, you'll be able to hear air leaking if it's leaking out of the head gasket, you know, then you could pop your radiator cap and you could see bubbles come out of the radiator cap. That'll tell you that there's air going from the head gasket back into the cooling system. And um, you can check for air coming out of your intake and you can check for air coming out of your exhaust and that'll kind of tell you which valves might be leaking. All right, guys, I went ahead and put a uh, two extensions <laughs> together and put it in the cylinder. So the way to tell if it's at top dead center, we're gonna take our ratchet, we're gonna go to the crank pulley also, make sure you take the car out of gear because you want as little resistance when you're trying to turn the motor over. I learned that the hard way. So I'm cranking. We're almost at the top. And right about there, because now as I crank, I can tell it's about to go back down. So we want it to be at top dead center. In addition to making sure that it's at top dead center, um, you want to make sure that you're on the compression stroke. So the way to tell is 
as you're cranking the engine over, you can actually hear air building up in the, in the uh, cylinder. There's no sound right now, which means we're not in the compression stroke, even though the piston's going up. So now come closer. So this next one, when we go down, and then when it comes back up, listen. Yep. And right there, we're at top dead center in the compression stroke, so we're good. We take this out, get our attachment. And um, in case you guys are curious about doing this yourself, um, all spark plugs are out when you do this. Now I'm gonna set the um, tester. We're gonna go ahead and pressurize it. I got it hooked up to the air compressor. We're gonna give it, let's give it about 80 PSI. Lock it in. Now we're gonna connect it. So it's getting about 60 PSI. I don't know if this regulator is just like cheap because it's from Harbor Freight, but we gave it 80, but it's now giving it about 60. It's holding about 52 and we're giving it about 58. It's supposed to be within 10% leakage and that is, so that's good. Uh, but I can hear a lot of air escaping, so now we're gonna kind of look for where air is coming out. First place we're gonna check is radiator cap because this will tell us if it's a head gasket if we see bubbles. Uh, yep, so no bubbles, so that's a good sign. Next place we're gonna check is under the oil cap. If there's air coming here, that means that we got leaky valves, I think. So there's definitely air coming out of that. Yep, definitely. This is part of the PCV system, so this is my you know catch can um, setup. There's definitely That's... air coming out of here too. Is there? Yeah. Oh yeah, you can definitely feel it. You can also check the exhaust, and if you can hear air coming out of the exhaust in the back, then your exhaust valves could be leaking. So I guess we can go check that. Yeah, I mean I don't hear it, so it could just be that the intake valves are leaking and not the exhaust valves. And I can feel air. I think I I hear it. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna release the pressure. We're pretty much gonna do that for each cylinder and kind of just listen for where air is coming from and kind of look at how much pressure it's able to hold. All right, cylinder two, we gave it 80 PSI. Again, I don't know if this thing is like not the best. Immediately once I plug it in, it dropped to we're at about 63 uh, and it's holding about 59 or 60. So again, within 10%, so cylinder two I think is good, although I am still hearing leakage right through there. Yeah. It's pretty heavy. And I'm sure if I... Yep, right out of the PCV. All right, cylinder three, we're giving it about 58. It's holding about 50. I feel like there's air leaking out of the actual regulator. Yep, just plenty of air coming out of here, and uh, oops, some paint. Yep. All right, let's go to cylinder four. All right, guys, well, I hate to see it, but here's cylinder four. Giving it about 56 PSI, and it's leaking really bad. We're only holding about 24 PSI, so it's got about 50% leakage. Wow, that's not good. Uh, I'm gonna stop for tonight, it kinda out of time. So I'll get back to this tomorrow. Actually tomorrow morning my friend Justin's coming over who is like pretty good with these. So he's gonna kinda help me look it over and discuss all these numbers and everything I'm finding. So hopefully we can kinda figure something out uh, tomorrow. But um, that's gonna be it for tonight. All right, see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so my homie Justin came over. We looked at everything again. We did the leak down test on all the cylinders again. And I just wanted to kind of get his opinion um, since he rebuilds these all the time and whatnot. So basically what we decided, uh, what it seems like is that the um, leakage from cylinder four is potentially exhaust valves because we can hear a lot of air escaping through the exhaust. Um, and I even took like the O2 sensor out and I could feel air coming right out of the downpipe, you know, so it, it would make sense that it's coming out of the exhaust valves. Um, and then cylinder three, even though it didn't have that much leakage, we could hear a lot of air coming out from the bottom of the crankcase. So I, I don't know exactly what that means. It could still potentially be, val you know, valve related, valve train related. 
Um, obviously I'm kind of, I'm new to all this, so I'm kind of learning as I go. If our thoughts are correct and it really is valve train, that's like best case scenario. What I would want to do is pull the engine. Basically I would do a leak down test again with both manifolds off because then we could hear the air escaping, you know, out of the manifold, you know, out of the holes for the manifold. So that would tell us a lot more of like exactly which cylinder is leaking, uh, if it's intake or exhaust. I do have a lot to think about honestly, because we got events coming up soon. I, I want to be able to drive. But when it comes to rebuilding an engine, you know, sometimes it's not in my hands. How long is it gonna take at the machine shop? You know, how long are parts gonna be? There's a lot of mystery, a lot of unknown. So the, the next step, like I'm just gonna try to take it one step at a time. Next step is pull the engine. That being said, I don't have time to do it today, unfortunately. So this is gonna be a project that I'll probably start tomorrow. That's gonna be it for this video. I got, a, again, a lot to research still and figure out, but if you guys have any suggestions as far as like, you know, your experience with an SR, what you guys saw on my results of the leak down and the compression test and whatnot, let me know, leave a comment. <laughs> let's, let's figure this out together. Let's come up with a move because Obviously I wanna drive this thing. Next video, we'll start pulling the engine and um, I'm hoping I can get it all out in a day. You know, it shouldn't be too hard. I, I might be doing it by myself though, so we'll see how far I can get. But all right, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.